Good morning, good morning, Mount Olive. Good morning. Come on, let's put some claps in the air. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory. It's good to be here. Amen. Especially in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you excited about being here in the house of the Lord? Yes. If it had not been for the Lord, for him on our side, where would we be? Amen. We're not going to prolong the time because time is of evidence. But we thank God for time. Amen. Come on, brother. Come on. Let us do devotion. Amen. We come and do it in the spirit of love. Amen. And the word of God says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer the foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither behold he that keepeth Israel shall neither sleep nor slumber. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Come on, go with me. Let everybody say amen. Everybody Everybody say, 
no harm in saying amen. Everybody say Let everybody say Let us pray. This morning, our Heavenly Father, we come to you one more time. And, oh, Lord, thank you for the many, many blessings you restored upon this for. Oh, Lord, we want to thank you this morning for being God and being God all by yourself. Letting us know that you have all power in your hand. And you will hear and answer prayer if it be down, holy will. You know, Lord, we come to you this morning thanking you for letting us lay down last night. Oh, Lord, we slept in time all night long. Oh, Lord, but a band of angels touched it this morning. Oh, Lord, we woke up. And, oh, Lord, we're able to see another day that we never have seen before. You know, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Oh, Lord, you've been there to us and we've been to ourselves. And, oh, Lord, we just want to say thank you, sir. Oh, Lord, you brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Oh, Lord, sometimes hard and sometimes easy, but you brought us. Oh, Lord, you brought us to this day. And, oh, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Oh, Lord, if we look back, so many started out last week. If you call their name this morning, they're not able to answer. And, oh, Lord, we're able to look around and see one another with smiles on our face. And, oh, Lord, there's enough to say thank you, sir. Oh, Lord, just have mercy upon this morning. Oh, Lord, we need you for one thing. And, oh, Lord, we need you for another. Oh, Lord, we need you for a sister and we need you for a brother. Oh, Lord, just have mercy upon us. Oh, Lord, just go in and stand by us and don't leave us alone. And, oh, Lord, if it be down, holy will, we ask you to bless the man who's going to stand in the pulpit and bring the message this morning. Yes, oh, Lord, we ask you to cry to hear from wisdom and won't hide. Yes. And, oh, Lord, we ask you to lead them on from one good grace to another. Yes. Oh, Lord, just have mercy. Have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy upon this service. And, oh, Lord, have mercy upon this church. Oh, Lord, we ask you to let this church be the church you want it to be. Oh, Lord, praising your name and spreading the word this morning. Oh, Lord, just have mercy this morning. Go with us, stand by us, and don't leave us alone. We ask you to bless the Bree Reed family this morning. Oh, Lord, we ask you to have mercy upon the sick this morning. Be down, holy will. Oh, Lord, just go with us and stand by us and don't leave us alone. And, oh, Lord, when we move in the room to study one no more. And, oh, Lord, when we lay down the hymn books in the Bible. Oh, Lord, if it be down, Holy, we ask you to give us a home. Oh, Lord, somewhere in your kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen Amen. and amen Amen. and amen. amen. Church, say amen. Indeed, it is a pleasure to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Brother McCauley preached to us on Friday. Time waits on no one. We're living in some terrible times. A lot is happening in these times. We all need to make sure that we stay close to the Lord. Pilgrim Wonders recorded a song once that said, the time is now to serve the Lord. I want you to turn in your hymn books to hymn number 248. We're going to stick with the theme of time. Time is filled with swift transition. Not on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God and change hands. Y'all know the Walter Ellis version of that? Go jazz it up a little bit. Time is filled with swift transition. 
water hole to God's unchanging
Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God loves a cheerful giver. Don't give grudgingly. We give out of love. God bless you. Bless you. Come on. Come boldly as I'm able to, to the throne of grace and mercy, as well as as humble as I'm able to. 
we pray now, Lord, that you will bless us so we'll be able to live by the word that you left. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. And that so is you doing that, bless this offer. Those who gave in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. The way is done here. The gospel will be preached. The sick will be prayed for. Most of all, invitation to Christ will be extended to you. These are your weekly announcements. You are invited to our family, friends, and senior day which will be held here at Mount Olive on Sunday, August 27th at 11 a.m. Please invite your friends and your family out. Our guest minister will be Reverend James Brown of Valley, Alabama. When all God's children get together, what a time, what a time, what a time. Mount Island Missionary Baptist Church will be hosting their second community parking lot event when Saturday, August 12th. The time will be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are asking everyone to come out, support, and participate in your community unity event for the youth, middle ages, and seniors. It will be host of games and rides and basketball and special guest appearances. Immediately after worship services, Sister Coker would like to meet with all the matrons today at the worship service. Also, the monthly matrons meeting will be held Saturday, August 5th at 12 p.m. noon. All invited. Thank you, Sister Perry. We would like, the youth would like to thank the church for allowing us to take the kids to Riggs Water Park. They had an awesome time. The weather held up, and we had a great time. And we also want to send a special shout out to Brother Lamar Dixon. He got us there safely, got her back home, and a good time to be at church today. We also want to thank our pastor, because he drove the van. We thank you guys for everything. Blessings on your birthdays and anniversary for the month of July. I know I mentioned this young lady. She had a birthday last week, but she wasn't here. So she said, just run it one more time for me. So we would like to wish... Um, Minister Peabody, a very happy birthday as well. In closing, Sister Claudette and also Reverend Byron Weeks would like to thank all the family, friends who shown love and prayers and kindness to their family for the passing of Mother Dorothy Mama Dot Sweeney. They um, greatly appreciate all the love everyone has shown and just continue to keep them lifted in prayer. And also, we also want to, I know some of you might not know, but if you don't, Brother William Lamar, that's Miss Fanny Lamar's husband, passed away on Friday morning as well. Um, more funeral arrangement information will be shared on our Remind to come up this week. But just still keep them lifted in prayer, love and prayer to Brother William Lamar family, to the grandparents, um, the grandkids, and also Miss Sister Fanny Lamar. And this concludes our morning announcements. Amen. Let us all announcements and keep them in mind. Yes, 
Let us bell announcements and keep them in mind. Amen. Um, yeah, we had a great time yesterday. Wish more could have gone. Amen. Most especially we had all, somebody had all them grandkids. They, man, we had kids, won't tell you the truth. Amen. But we had a good time. You know what, Pastor? He got in the water. Amen. You probably saw it on Facebook. You put it out there. You saw it? Amen. So I relax and unwind myself. And so we had a great time. And we just thank uh, you, the youth counselors, who took the time out to go. And thank you. All the parents. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Mount Olive, for doing something as it relates to your children, our children. Amen. There are a lot of churches who don't do things like this for their youth. Amen. But you're special, and, and, and you do that. And so we just want to thank you, Mount Olive, for having stuff in place, uh, us to help our kids to, to do things different. Amen. And have a good time in the Lord. Amen. And so we just want to thank you for that. And also, we know that Brother Jay, Jeff Jacobs, Jr., this is his last Sunday with us, y'all. Uh, yeah, he's going to the Air Force, man. Man, my brother, I'm going to miss you, going to miss you, going to miss you. Amen. Since we've been here 14 plus years, when we come here, Jay was like, man, he was, <laughs> he was small, amen. Look at you now, man. And become a man, a young man who is pursuing uh, bigger and greater things in life. And so, man, I just want to tell you that, man, I love you, first of all, and that uh, whatever you're aspiring to do, you're going to be great. Because, you know, it's how you started, how you was raised. Amen? And so that says a lot. So uh, your aspirations, your dreams, man, just, just go high in the Lord. Amen? Don't forget where you come from. Amen, amen. I know you, you, you can't wait to get away from your parents, can you? You, you, you? Oh, yeah, I know it. I know you can't wait to get away. <laughs> amen. All those times your mom got on your nerves back in the back, amen. But we're going to miss you. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you most especially, amen. And so to you, young kids, young, young folks, just, you know, just dare to dream. Just have a dream. You, you can... You can, you can be who you want to be. If you, if you see God uh, concerning these matters, if you just know who God is, and that's why we try to do all we can. I know Pastor does. Try to do all I can to help you see who Christ is. Amen. First, I want you to see Christ in me. And just try to strive and be better than what perhaps our parents Amen. I want you to be better. Amen. That's what I tell my children, my grandchildren. Be better uh, than me. Amen. Go higher. Amen. Amen. It's your time to soar. It's your time to fly. Amen. Amen. So we just thank you for that. And thank God for a church like you, Mount Olive, who have uh, embraced these young people. Amen. Give yourselves a hand. You, you, you're embracing these young people. You allow them to see Christ in you, and you're inspiring them, and you're challenging them, and let them know that they can be better. They can do better. Go and do better, bigger things in life. Amen. Amen. So just go and be who you who you are, Jay. And uh, call me every now and then, man. Yeah, let me know how you're doing. You, you, got, you got my number. You all right? Call. Me. Amen. I want to see what you're doing. What's going on, man? And so we just thank God for you. Thank God for you, young folks. Thank God for you and you parents. Just keep doing what you're doing as it relates to these children of this church. Amen. 
They are the church of the day and tomorrow. Amen. And the future, they are the church. And so we just thank God for that. Amen. Let's continue to pray for the Marie family, uh, Sweeney family, slash Weeks family. Amen. And Lamar family. Sister Lamar, she have, she have conversed with one another, and she says she's looking to have the funeral here Friday at 1 o'clock. Friday at 1 o'clock. Perhaps uh, she wants to have him uh, buried here as well. So if that's what she's saying, then we're going to do that. Uh, if anything else changes, we'll get you the word. We'll get the word out to you uh, as it relates to that. Amen. Amen. Uh, so very glad to have Sister Rutledge with us from Greater New Hope. That's right, Greater New Hope. Amen. 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 She was at Pastor's anniversary, and she sang that song. Uh, and she's going to sing it for me today. Amen. Uh, right before I preach it. So we're going to let her come and do that. Uh, and I just want to thank God for you. Who do you have with you? That's green. Okay. All right. You have anything to say? You have anything to say? You're busy. All right. All right. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you for accepting that, and I ask you to come, and you're here this morning. I just want to thank God for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank God for Pastor Stringer with us this morning, he and his wife. Amen. Amen. Our ushers holding down the door, this media team. Get this choir hand. Can we do that? Amen. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. All right. I have another selection. I have another selection. There it is. All right. I'm looking like y'all in hell. I'm up. Yeah, yeah. It's good to be up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on, help us out. Come on.
See Jesus. Amen. For when I see the man that died for me, for when I see the man who set me free. No trials in here. All of my trials, all of your trials, all of your trials, in all of your tribulation will be over. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for when I see Jesus, for when I see Jesus. What a day it's gonna be when I see Jesus. I'ma walk around heaven when I see Jesus. When I see Jesus, I got a mama there when I see Jesus. I got a father there when I see Jesus. Y'all must ain't got nobody there. But when I see Jesus, hey, Come on, give God some praise in this place. When I see Jesus, all of my troubles, all of my heartaches, all of my pain, all of my tears will be over. Yes, sir. see Jesus Lord have mercy wow how many of you want to see him do you want to be where he is do you want to live eternally where he is this is the dressing up room down here you got to go to heaven from right down here Lord have mercy. Thank you, Sister Rector. Thank you. Thank the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. That really lifted my spirit. Amen. To God be the glory. 
Father, we come now. It's appointed time and place. God, we come to give you praise and honor. We come to thank you, O oh God. We come to worship you, O oh God, for who you are. you Lord of lords and your King of kings. We thank you now. Thank you for every song that have been sang. Thank you, O oh God, for your presence. Thank you, O oh God, for every encouraging word. God, even in the midst of this hour, times of uncertainty. We heard in this song that time is filled with swift transition. But nevertheless, God, you are worthy to be praised. And we thank you right now. We're going to give you glory because you inhabit the praise of your people. And we will yet give you the glory, yet give you honor, yet give you the praise. God, because we love you. God, we thank you now. We ask it all in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's power in his name. Amen. Amen. The Gospel of John, chapter 14. Beginning with verse 13. If you don't have it, it's on the screen. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, look what he says, I will do. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to talk about a powerful name. There's power in his name. To God be the glory. My brothers and sisters, you and I, we have a weapon of mass destruction on the inside of us. There's such an arsenal on the inside of us. If we were to take use of it and put it to use, there's nothing that you and I cannot accomplish. Amen. We got so much power at our hand that we really don't know what to do. Uh, if we were to just seek Jesus, on the behalf of this power, and whatever we ask in his name, if it's in his permissive will, God will watch over his word to perform it. Yes, my brothers and sisters, this powerful name has been around for a long time. Ever since time began, this name, Jesus, has been in essence. My brothers and sisters, if you and I are going to be the Christian, if we're going to be the child of God that we have been called to do, we have to take advantage and take for what it is that we have something on the inside of us. If we were to allow people to see that's what's on the inside of us, oh, what a world this would be. There's power in his name. My brothers and sisters, the disciples were full of grief. Think of parting with the master. They had been with him all this time, and now time had come. Uh, that he was getting ready to depart from them. God was going somewhere else that they could not go. And they was wondering what on earth were they going to do? What was going to become of them? God had performed miracles in their sight. He had wrought miracles time and time again in their sight. God had demonstrated this power over and over again. And here it is now. God is getting ready. Jesus is getting ready to depart from them. And they was wondering what on earth were they going to do. But they failed to realize that they had something on the inside of them that if they were to call on the name Jesus, they would be an arsenal within themselves. My brothers and sisters, you and I have to realize that what God has given us and that prayer life that we must obtain in order to, amen, allow the world to see that it can be better things can be better if we were to take the time out, amen, and to allow us to see 
what's on the inside of us. Oh, uh, yes, there's power in that name Jesus. Matter of fact, demons tremble at the name Jesus. If you ever want to put Satan on, on, uh huh, put him on the run, oh, you just call on the name Jesus. Yeah, every, every time he flees, he may come back, but you just call on the name Jesus. The songwriter says there's something about that name Jesus. Oh, he had it right when he said that there's something about that name Jesus. Sick folk get well when they call on the name Jesus. He, somebody said once upon a time, he may not come when you want him to come, but I, I declare that he's always on time. Have I got a witness here? Somebody in here this morning had to call on Jesus. Somebody in here this morning had to just lift up their eyes to the hills from with cometh their help and realize that all our help come from the Lord. But if you just take the time out and call on his name, my brothers and sisters, oh, you will find your life in a much better shape. Have I got a witness here? Too many times, my brothers and sisters, we forget. We forget that God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And then you know how we do. We get it in our minds like it's all about us. And we try to do it in a fleshly manner. But this is a spiritual warfare. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But this is a spiritual battle. It's not what you see on the outside. But it's what's on the inside that we have to deal with. Sometimes we get in the company of people and we say, I can't stand them. they always doing this, that, and the other. But it's not them. It's what's on the inside of them. And if you want to aggravate the inside, you got to have a prayer life. You got to say, in the name of Jesus. And you watch those situations change. You watch the circumstances change when you call on the name Jesus. Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters. Oh, what harmony, what, what togetherness and unity we can have when all of us come together and get on that one accord and call on that name Jesus. That's part of the reasons what goes on in most churches today where there's no unity, where there's no togetherness. You haven't called on the name Jesus loud enough. You haven't established a prayer life long enough. If you want things to change in your church, on your job, in your community, even in your world, you got to find yourself calling on the name Jesus. Haven't you noticed yet people try to do everything they possibly can without calling on Jesus? That's the problem. They try to do it mechanically with all this technological age. They try to do it all with that, this, and the other. But until they incorporate Jesus... Things ain't going to never get right. Until love abides and love come in, this thing ain't going to get right. That's why we got to establish a prayer life and we got to call on the name Jesus. Even when you don't feel like it, there ought to be something on the inside of you that umps you. And you ought to have the unction enough to say, yes, Lord, if it had not been for you on my side, I know I don't feel like it. I don't look like what I've been through. It must be you, God. Have I got a witness here? If it wasn't for the trouble, you wouldn't be here today. God had to allow trouble to come in our lives sometime to get us to get down on our knees. Otherwise, we'll be going along our daily little walk as if God hadn't did anything for you. How many of you know God did it for you? Look at your name and say, God did it. Have I got a witness here? Yeah, there's power in his name. And that's what I love about the name Jesus. Even when the circumstance look dark dim and dismal there is a name above every name have i got a witness that what every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess you may not want to confess it now but there's going to come a time when you're going to have to do it whether you want to do it or not but i'd rather confess lord now i'd rather confess jesus right now because he is my all in all he is my savior he is my bread in a starving land he is a lawyer have I got a witness here? He is a doctor that's able to heal the sick. He is able to raise up the dead. Have I got a witness here? There's power in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was a commercial that says before the name goes on, the stuff has to go in. If you use that name, 
what we request must be agreed upon. The one bearing that name. In other words, if we are working for a company and you decide to do something, you go to the boss to get him to sign off on it. The boss have to agree with what you have just done because his name is on that product. And if he does not agree with it, then it will be a failure. So you have to get on one accord with Jesus. Lord, what I'm asking you for, I hope that is in your permissive will because, Lord, I'm looking to you, Lord, and I'm going to get permission from you. How many of you know that even the devil have to get permission from God to do anything to you? That, 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 that's, that's power in his name. Say, whatever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. And I don't know about you. I want to be the recipient of the one that goes about doing good, helping others. Uh-oh, I said something in. Helping others. There are those who will go around as if they got everything going on and nobody else matters to them. Have I got a witness here? That there, there are some folks who are selfish. You said it this morning. But we have to be selfless. We have to be humble. We have to allow God to use us because all we are is just a willing vessel willing to be used of God. And so when I call on the name Jesus, make sure you're standing in the right posture. In other words, you have to humble yourself. Lord, it's not about me. It's about what you want to do through me. Lord, help me to be a vessel to, to help raise up a bow down here. Help me to be the one to be the recipient to give, even when I don't have it to give. Help me to be the one that love in spite of, I know they don't like me, but I'm going to love them anyway. Lord, I'm just going to call on your name because I realize that there is power in your name. Have I got a witness here? And so Jesus assures them that you can have what you want to have, but your heart got to be right. Whew. That's kind of deep, isn't it? But it's simple at the same time. What do you do like going around asking God for this, that, and the other? And then here it is. You can't even love your brother and your sister. Matter of fact, you just started back speaking to him. Have I got a witness here? You got to have love in your heart. If you want God to answer your prayers, you got to learn how to pray for others. Have I got a witness here? If you ask anything in my name, in other words, God is going to make sure that your life lines up because you are lining up with God because you're seeking permission from God. God is saying, yes, I'll give you anything that you ask as long as it is in my will and as long as I'm going to get glory from it. There are a whole lot of folks who are going around uh -huh, looking for self-glory. They, they want you to look at them. They want to shine in front of others. But if you can't shine for the Lord, if you can't let your light so shine before me and to glorify your Father which is in heaven, then you're standing on seeking sand. Have I got a witness here? Oh, yes, there's power in the name Jesus. Oh, yes, my brothers and sisters, I've learned that down through the years, whatever I ask in the will of God, if he would have me to have it, then it will be. Because my brothers and sisters, 14 plus years ago, before I came to this church, wasn't looking for a church. Matter of fact, just had left a church. Sitting at home three months later, came to my attention that this church was open. And I sought God concerning the matter. I said, Lord, if it's your permissive will, your will be done. Oh, yes, I could have got all cocky. I could have stood up in pride. My ego could have went forward and said, yes, I think I'll go down there and try to get that church. But no, I said, Lord, if it's your permissive will, oh, God, I would have it if you want me to have it. And so, yes, it went on. Time went on to where I now look 14 plus years. Yes, it was in the will of God. Lord, I said, because... I don't want to be out of your will, Jesus. Lord, because I know, I got enough common sense to know that if I'm out of your will, thing is not going to go right. Oh, yes, I would only tear it up. But if it's in your will, Lord, 
Lord, let it be done. Not my will, but your will, Father. Because I realize, Jesus, that there is power in your name. Have I got a witness here? Power to set the captives free. Power to lift up a bow down head. Have I got a witness here? Power to heal sick bodies. Power, yes, to bring about a peace that pass all understanding. That have I got a witness here? And I discovered so that there's power, Lord, in your name. Have I got a witness here? I know we got all kind of name and there's all kind of power, but there's no power and no name quite like your name. Have I got a witness here? And I want to tell you about a story I read. And it said the right name opened doors. Have I got a witness here? And there was a man named Mark Roberts who wrote of a time when he visited the capital of the United States. Have I got a witness here? He was a guest of a man named Congressman John Campbell. And as long as he was a guest of Congressman Campbell, he could walk around freely in the Capitol. Have I got a witness here? He had a pass where he could walk around and go in any other room as long as he were with Congressman Campbell. Have I got a witness here? The congressman name meant something in the capital. Have I got me a witness? And as long as was John was with him, he had free access to walk around the capital. He could have what he wanted to have, go in any other room he wanted to go in. All he had to mention was Congressman Campbell. Have I got me a witness here? In other words, Congressman Campbell's name meant something there, and it opened doors for him. Have I got a witness here? The same way Jesus' name is, it'll open doors for you when there is no way through. Have I got a witness here? It will close doors that wasn't meant for you. Yes, that's something about the name Jesus. Yes, and I'm so glad today I call on that name. His name is above all other names. Have I got a witness here? His name, sick folk get well. His name, it open blinded out. His name will be a leaning pole for you. His name will be joy in the midst of sorrow. His name, I tell you, whatever you need, my God got it. J, the name Jesus, have kept you, my brother. The name Jesus will allow you to fly high. Y'all know hear me. It opened doors that was closed in your face. All you got to do is call on the name Jesus. Jesus, come and see about your child. Jesus, Jesus, when they want to hear you. Jesus, when they don't want to hear you. Jesus, put life in your body. Jesus, Jesus, you remember Ezekiel, don't you? The valley of dry bones. He preached Jesus to the old bones, and the old bones came alive. Yes, they did. That's what we got to do, preachers. We got to preach Jesus. Even if they don't understand or don't want to hear you. In season and out of season. Y'all know hear me. I love that name. I love the name Jesus. He is Lord of Lord. He is King of Kings. He is Everlasting Father. He is Prince of Peace. Yes. 
Good God Almighty here. Yeah! Hey, Jesus! Over 2,000 years ago, he came, and I'm still talking about Jesus. He lived. You may not want to hear it. He died, but you're going to hear it anyway. But early, good God Almighty here. Early, oh, early, Sunday morning, got up out of the grave. Oh, power. He got all power, all power. Woo! Thank you, Holy Ghost. All power, all power in his hand. That's all I got to tell you. All power, Jesus. If he ever done anything for you, if God ever made way for you, put food on your table, woke you up this morning, started you on your way, went to Rigsby Park on yesterday, I would have had drive to and from. Nobody but God. Nobody but God. There's something about that name, Jesus. Yes, it is. And if I were you, I'd give him praise. I'd give him honor. I'd give him glory. Hey, yeah. Good God, I'm out of here. He was Oh. Somebody ought to help me lift the name Jesus. I didn't come all the way down here not to lift Jesus' name up because when I look back over my life and how he brought me through, nobody but God healed my body, regulated my mind, opened my eyes, blood still running warm in my body. He let you sing that song, nobody but God won't he put clapping in your hand? Step in your feet. Won't my God do it? If you don't know who I'm talking about, you need to get a relationship with him. Yes, he will.